This is a 2018 Georgetown Forest River GT5. Full paint. It's hard to get these models in a full paint. This is, uh, was an upgrade. It's like a $15,000 upgrade. It's gorgeous, gorgeous paint job. This is a gasoline Ford F53 Freightliner chassis. This motorhome is waxed every three months and stored under a cover. I'm selling this motorhome and posting it today. It's just got an amazing, amazing paint job. If you're looking at getting a 34 foot Class A motorhome, this is the one to get. It has an amazing floor plan. and amazing graphics. I want to show you the outside before I poke the slides out. The model number is a 31L5. That is the floor plan. You will see in a minute what the floor plan looks like. It's in perfect shape, nothing wrong with it. 2018. Okay, a little bit about the outside. We've got the TV outside. There's outdoor speakers. It's got great storage here. This has AC power. Looks like it has cigarette lighter power. More storage. Goes all the way through back to the back side back there. More storage in here. It actually goes way back there too. Lots of storage. And this is like Tupperware inside. Really good. Oh, and these are insulated. This motorhome is winterized and the, the doors are insulated. So if you go to the mountains, go skiing, you won't freeze your stuff. This is the awesome, awesome, huge storage right here. Has a full utility pullout. Look how far this comes out. So this is a, a great pullout. Goes all the way to the back. You can ask this from the back side. And then you got storage down here. It has a little pull up right here, it has a door. So you can access storage down below. This is one of the largest storages I've seen on a 34 footer. Insulated door, you can see foam core, it's very thick. It has a clamp style locks, slam locks, instead of those cheap twisty ones. All right, here you can actually hook up propane. You can run a quick, quick release propane and run your propane fireplace or your propane stove or your your propane uh, barbecue. Has a little off and on valve right there and uh, that's really convenient when you don't have to bring any propane with you. Okay, so this is the driver's side storage compartment. This is the back side of that pullout. Got lots of storage here. This is where the power is right here. You have your inverter right there. That's where I keep some of my tools. Have a solar right here, solar panel that plugs in. This is also connected to the solar right here. This is solar ready. So it goes right to the battery on the coach. So you can uh, plug in solar panels. And uh, I'll probably include the solar panel with this coach. It's already hooked up here and you could run a panel outside. The panel is not on top of the motorhome because I keep a cover on it. I do run a a portable cover through right here is where you run the cables it's great it's got a little door you run your cables through there when you park it this is when you have hookup full hookup and you want to give uh, cable internet or cable uh, television to the coach so that's this cabinet here more storage so we keep all of the toiletries gas this is the area where you do the hookup 
you got your flush tank, has a black flush tank, which is great. So when you're draining the black, you can run a hose through it and you can flush your black tank. Then there's a city water hookup, fresh tank fill, and then you have an outdoor shower. Every compartment has a light. Right here, you turn off and on. And this is where you dump. And this is the water filter for the in coach water. When you hook it up, whether you use the tank water or the city water, you go through this filter. Here you have just more storage. I chose to store the sewage in here, have it in a bag, and my dirty hose and some tools, a little bit of propane. Uh, so that's where that's stored at. Lots of storage. I don't even use it all. There's so much storage in this motorhome. Another storage spot. This is where I keep the uh, barbecue. It's just a perfect spot. Fits a Weber, baby Weber, inside of here perfectly. It even has a stand for it. It's like perfect dimensions. And this goes through to the other side. You can see it goes through to the other side. You can put long things across here. Tables, chairs, umbrellas, brooms, whatever's long. And this is the generator. It's got a Cummins Onan RV QG 5500, 50 amp generator. You can run both ACs on it. It's got two ACs here. This is a propane. All right, now we'll take out the slides. Just wanted to point out the back window. All the windows come tinted. And these are the zero frameless windows. The updated windows are really cool. And uh, there's a backup camera right there. Okay, so the slides are out. These slides come out the furthest of any gasoline motorhome. Look how far they come out. A lot further than the slides of my older 2010. Two slides. I'll show you the slide from this side. One big wall slide. Okay, here's the interior. This coach has very, very long slides. Enormous room. All right. I love this interior. Cherry wood. It's like a chocolate leather interior. It's got lots of, lots of room. You can add and extend your counter space here. It's got nice pliant. This is a 2018, it's that nice deep sink. It's got a glass cover, three burner gas. If you're on microwave, big microwave. It's got a residential size refrigerator. This thing is huge. Giant refrigerator. We love this refrigerator. As you can see the inside. This motorhome is basically brand new. It's only three years old. Big refrigerator. One of my favorite things about this motorhome is it has a fireplace. The fireplace is amazing. It's great because it doesn't use propane. You can just use electricity. And when you want to use your propane, it has simulated fire on here. And it's really cool. And it's great when you're in the mountain skiing and you want heat out of your motor home. TV, storage. This has HDMI, I upgraded it to each TV, so it's high, quali high quality instead of standard definition. This is the master bedroom, king size bed, closet. Got your drawers, his and her closet. This one has a mirror. This is the AC unit in the rear. Even has drawers down below and drawers above. I love this, the, all the furnishings here and the, the cherry wood and the dark colors. Really nice bathroom. So the whole coach is LED. All the lights have been changed. 
This is a bathroom. This is a bathroom where you can go here and then you have, then you can close this door here and you basically have a private double bathroom with your shower on one side, a bathroom on the other. This door closes and it doubles the size of your bathroom. Now, excuse the stuff we store in here, but let me just go into the shower. Sunlight, it's really wide. We have a few things that we store in here. We store the cushion that goes to the couch, which I'm gonna put in in a second, but it's got a really wide, wide shower. I'm a 6'1", 200 pounds, so fits me perfectly. leveling jacks got the generator on because I took the slides out passenger seats all leather it's gorgeous there's the L shape this goes in and out you don't have to use it but this really you can't find this in a 34 foot motorhome And it perfectly faces the fireplace and the TV. It's great when you have a lot of guests. All the shades are easy up and pull down. So you pull them down, you, you go like that. They glide up real slow, has two per window. This actually goes down as a bed, just like all the other ones do. Has storage inside of here. Close up on the kitchen cabinets. They're Beautiful cabinets. So I really like the color of these cabinets. I really don't like the blonde color. I like more of the, the cherry walnut look. So, wet from the uh, driver's seat. This is how big this is. The ceiling on these Georgetowns are bowed, so it gives the appearance of it being tall. I think it actually is taller, but if you look up, it's like bowed, like a cabin of a ship. I like it instead of it being squared off, you can kind of see the angle right here. So it kind of just goes at a, a really high. Being 6'1", it really gives a lot of space. I actually added the super fan because it didn't come with it. A lot of the 2021s have it now, but when you're cooking, you have all the smoke going, you want to turn that on to suck all the air out. It does have a fan here, but I think it just exhausts it back into itself. All right, the next thing is a front sleeper. This has a great front sleeper. Basically, we turn this here, unlock it, have a hydraulic front sleeper. I think it's larger than a queen. It's almost a double. Oh, I probably see it's a, a queen. It's really comfy, got access to the cabinets. It stops right above the seats, has a ladder, ladders right there and I actually added this privacy this is just a retractable bar so when you have a kid and they want some privacy when they go to bed that goes all the way across I kind of fabricated that I'm not sure if this is gonna come with it I'm gonna to have to ask my wife but basically we ordered this and uh, so when the child goes to bed at night you know they get total privacy there most of the front beds don't come with a curtain like this. So when you go to put it away, just throw it up there. This is compression, so it's just twisted. I just leave it, works fine, stays there. And then you just go up. Some of the beds that come in the front of uh, Class A's are really pulled down, really crappy with shocks in them. This thing supports, I think like 350 pounds. And then you just put the safety lock on it, turn the key, it's out of sight. Okay, so this has the app for your phone. There's a Wi-Fi connection. You hook up your phone, download the app, and you can actually control all these with your phone. So we can bring the slide in right here. It's the main slide, the bedroom slide. What's really cool about the app base one is that you can have the app on your phone and you can be looking outside. So when you do open your slides, you can make sure it's not hitting anything. 
Um, so you can do it from here, or you can do it from your phone. Since I'm just bringing these in, just thought I'd show you how the slide goes in. What's really cool about this is when you're driving, you got a nice place to take a nap. There's plenty of space back here. Just pushes the mattress forward. You can still open the cabinets with the slide in and get to things. And, uh, and you can have taken naps over here. All right, so now we're bringing the main slide. It's a really, really long slide. This slide goes really far out. Gives it a lot of room. All right, that's it. Oh, no, we got more. All right, so there's plenty of room to walk while you're driving. Some of the motorhomes are really tight. Plenty of room to nap. Someone can be lounging here. You've got enough space to walk to the back. Slides all the way in. And you're ready to roll. I like the fact that there's a table between the two chairs here. You can have a drink or have a snack. The two chairs also face inward, or you can face this chair. I have another eating area. You can face the chairs towards the back of the coach and have more seating for people. So that's the uh, tour of my beautiful Georgetown Forest River 34-footer Class A motorhome, mint condition, waxed every three months, and I have a cover that goes over it. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I bought it brand new and uh, taking offers right now. Catch her before she's gone.